Hey, welcome back to Big Board. So we're looking at this whole concept of trying to take tactical battles uh, and uh, from Great Battles of History and use the system from Great Battles of History to represent the conflicts that arise and the battles that arise in the Hannibal Rome versus Carthage. And I made a couple of posts on the blog, which you can see uh, uh, and uh, talking about how I would try to come, come up with a mechanism <clears throat> to translate the combat unit values in Hannibal Rome versus Carthage into Great Battles of History. And after, uh, you know, looking at, you know, uh, some advice from other folks that, you know, uh, one CU was worth 5,000 troops, I then translated that and gave uh, some weightings based on the historical information we have from SPQR and other games and systems and things. Uh, uh, and looked at the, the relative quality of the troops and things like that. And the uh, force mixes based on the scenarios and uh, from the second from the second Punic War uh, by year type of thing. So nothing super detailed. It really was, took me just a couple of hours to kind of skim through things and get some rough feel for stuff. And so I came up with this little, this little chart and uh, it's on the blog as well. So you can see it all there and have a look at it in detail. Uh, so this is the first battle, and uh, it's a six, uh, uh, Carthage has six CU, I think, and the, uh, is it six or eight? I forget. And anyway, the uh, Romans have eight and the Car Carthage have six. And you look at that, that's a, you know, 25% difference in force strength. Well, 25% uh, difference in force strength is pretty significant. And, you know, when, but when you look at it uh, in terms of the game in Hannibal, Rome versus Carthage, 2 CU is really not a lot of difference. And in fact, in this game, all the battle cards that you would use, there would be a dead tie, as, a dead even tie as well. So this is a relatively fair uh, or evenly balanced battle, but as it translated across to the board, it wasn't gonna come out that way. And it wasn't gonna come out that way because uh, once you start getting down into the details of force mix, so how many, um, how many phalanx units you're going to have and how many medium infantry and light infantry and how many legions and what types of legions. It all got a little wonky and I ended up having uh, an extra legion in here. So it would be 40,000 versus 30,000 troops. But the, uh, in game terms for SPQR, that's a lot. And it, and it was not looking terribly balanced. So what I decided to do was basically take uh, the difference in the number of points, uh, combat units in Hannibal, uh, and you know we know that's uh, and then say that's worth a certain amount, right? So I was going to say that basically each point is worth five or six percent difference in combat capability. Uh, so a, uh, a two point difference would be a twelve uh, percent difference in force mix. And so what that would mean here would be we would go from the Romans having 40,000 troops to having 35,000 troops, and these guys would leave these guys at 30,000 troops. Uh, and that now is a more manageable number. And guess what? That ends up being exactly one legion. So I took the third legion, these guys, I took these guys off. I don't know how bright this is. My, uh, my, my, um, my viewfinder on my camera is very dark and I know there's a lot of sun, so I can't tell if you can see this very well or not. So I took a legion out of here. And then as I was rebalancing the lines and looking at things and trying to get up perhaps a more traditional setup here where it's a two, two, uh, a lot of the time the line infantry are lined up, uh, set up uh, too deep uh, on the flanks. Whoa, sorry about that guys. Uh, too deep on the flanks. And, uh, you know, same for the, the allies of the Romans over there. Sifax's forces are going to have uh, two deep. But here, that's uh, one line of light and one line of medium infantry. That all looks a little more, if I can kind of back it up, that looks a little more balanced to me. And I'm not trying to get a perfectly even fight because that's not the point is. If, if it's eight versus four or ten steps versus two steps, well, it's going to be a blowout. And in fact, if it's ten versus two, we probably... You know, we'll just use the battle card system. We're not going to waste the time setting up that because we know what will happen. So <clears throat> rather than having to uh, overindulge uh, the Carthaginians with extra phalanxes, we've managed to redress, I think, the, the force mix in, fairly, in a fairly uh, historical manner and fairly evenly. I have 
cherry picked a few extra pieces out here and there. I took a uh, took a, an extra took a Numidian cavalry off this end, and uh, I uh, I took off uh, one or two of the light medium over here, and I also rebalanced the lines here and took one or two. Uh, in fact, I took two. I took a skirmisher off, an elephant off, and one light infantry off. So there's eight light infantry now instead of, oh, and actually it's not eight, there's 16, I think, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, oh, it's 14, instead of uh, 15. So we will now uh, get stuck into it. I can actually put this guy back onto this tree area. Um, we can get stuck into it and get started with this uh, this battle. So it should be fun. Uh, I thought I'd share that with you. And this is the kind of the current thinking. I'm going to use percentages uh, to represent the differences. And basically, if it's a 25% difference, I'm going to divide that by two and say it's a 12.5% a, a difference in the force force sizing. And then we'll adjust the mix as we need to for, uh, for you know, shits and giggles as we, as we carry on. All right. Later, guys.